going on guys it is murdering here back with another raid shadow legends video today we're going to be talking about the most asked question when you pull a new champion how do you build this champion how to find that perfect balance and i'm going to give you every single step walk you through and today we're going to be using the champion duchess we just had a 10 times where duchess was a part of she was one of the most sought after champions from that 10 times for most people going after it so i felt like why not go over duchess and have this be a double benefit showing you how to properly gear all of your champions and how to gear duchess specifically if you did just pull her and you are curious on how this works so the first thing you have to ask yourself is where am i going to use this champion that's going to be question number one you need to know this before you start doing any type of building or else you're going to run into trouble you're going to have to respec your masteries while you do get one free one it's better to go into something you know where you want to use it first so there's no question as to what the direction of your build is actually going to be the second thing is you want to consider is this champion worth booking? Do I need books for this champion? I have a totally separate video on that, which helps you determine if you do in fact need books or not. That is another defining factor which can make or break and change your build entirely based on the specific type of champion it is. So once you've figured out where you're going to use the champion, if you need books on the champion, that's when you can begin your building process. All right, so as we can see here, I do have my Duchess here. She has a blank page of full masteries ready. We have all of her gear slots ready. She is fully booked and I knew this going into it. So I have to figure out where I want to use Duchess. The answer for me today and for this video is going to be dungeons. How can I build this champion to maximize my use in dungeons? This is also going to apply to most of Doom Tower outside the very specific scenarios where you need a certain type of a stat requirement for the stages, most likely the boss stages. But outside of that, most of the Doom Tower all of the campaign if you're progressing there, every single dungeon if you're progressing there, and finally faction wars. So what we're going to do and what we're not going to do is we're not going to touch the masteries just yet. Now why don't I touch the masteries? First, the masteries are very very build specific. So if you have an idea in mind, it's very hard for everyone to remember every single type of piece of gear that they have very very hard to do i don't even do it. i only have 330 pieces here and i have no idea what kind of gear that i have so if i have a build in mind and i start building it and i fall short with the gear i don't want to have masteries that correlate with that gear that i was planning on putting on so now i just wasted my masteries so we're going to gear this champion first and i would recommend that to everybody gear the champion first and then move to the masteries fill in the gaps and base the synergy from the gear to masteries in that order instead of vice versa so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to consider what do i need it's never wrong to start with speed boots i see this so many times people are trying to jump to hp percent boots to make them tanky yes that's good however if you really want hp percent boots you need very very strong gear most people don't have it you are going to need a pair of boots like this we have a triple roll here giving us 23 base speed it's not glyphed i can't add glyphs here but it's base defense percent if you don't have this in my opinion do not attempt to use non-speed boots because the extra speed bonus you will get from the boots is going to be gigantic so with that being said let's go ahead keep our boots clicked let's try to stay away from equipped gear here and let's go ahead and look for normal speed boots the best we can hopefully we can use a set like this okay this has triple flat defense on it so not the best pair however we're going to actually use the triple flat defense because we're going to have enough defense based on her base statistics they're very high so this is something you have to look at going into this know this about the champion you're working on so you can better and further make that decision on what piece of gear you should use after i do boots i actually like to swap to the banner after this that way i can see how much speed i can afford to gain or lose in the other pieces based on the banner so we're going to search for defense and hp on the banner because we want to make this champion as tanky as possible and it looks like based on when we have currently leveled up our best option is going to be this one here not a ton of speed but in the end hopefully it's going to be enough speed outside of that we want an hp or a defense necklace as well the other stats on this aren't going to matter too much if you can get a defense necklace with hp that would be ideal and this is where books come into play if you didn't have books on this champion you would probably want something like a refresh banner here but since we do have this fully booked we're going to go ahead and use this flat banner finally 
we're going to once again look for HP or defense percent on that ring. And once we do that, we will find our triple HP percent ring here and go ahead and apply it to the champion. Now that we've determined that Duchess is an interesting champion, it's not like many other champions where I would say, Try to go with crit rate she's only single target she only has one damaging ability being that a1 here so the only way you're really going to get damage out of her unless you have insane gear is going to be war master if you want extra damage you can use war master on pretty much any type of reviver you want however if they have multiple abilities one of them that does aoe then you can start considering using crit rate if you don't have to sacrifice too much survivability so with that being said i'm not going to do crit rate here seems like i already have a decent amount of hp at 53,000, so i can go ahead and look for defense percent gloves now i have four options here let's just go ahead and pick the one with the highest speed which is right here 17 let's go ahead and move on to the chest piece once again all the pieces are just lining up perfectly for me so we have 60,000 health 4,000 defense, 189 speed. So this is where I'm going to focus more on speed than anything else. If I can continue matching the sets with divine speed, I'm going to do that, but it's not going to be my number one priority. Now, if these weren't speed sets or divine speed sets, I would try much harder to in fact match these gear sets. The reason why I want to stress that is because speed is much easier to get in a substat than it is to kind of overcome the benefit you would get from a life set, the benefit you would get from immortal set, defense set, anything you can think of. That's a much harder gap to overcome than it is when just using a speed set. And when I say that, it's simply because the probability of having multiple speed rolls on mismatch and gear is much higher than being able to overcome that percentage you are losing by not having the matching set. So the first thing we're going to do is go to divine speed, see if we can round things out. If it ends up not working out, I'm not going to care too much about this. We have resistance there. Okay, here is an HP one. So that ended up working out pretty well for us. We have 66,000 health now, 4,300 defense, 208 speed. And none of the stats, like I said before, really are going to matter for me. Outside of this, these champions are rather healthy. So what I could do and what I would prefer is to get around 20 to 25 more speed i can do this with a speed set and i would need practically no speed on it so i have to consider that in the back of my head or i can go ahead and give her like an immortal set so she's getting passive healing throughout each wave and that's definitely going to be the direction that i personally want to go in so for this we're just going to simply pick this is the only weapon i have available so i'm going to pick it and then this is the only helmet so i'm going to pick this as well Rounding off this build at 74,000 health, 4,300 defense, 231 speed. So without min-maxing too hard here, yes, I do have very strong gear. However, you can apply this to any champion you're trying to build. This is a very, very solid overall duchess build for pretty much any content outside of arena if you wanted to do arena there are much different ways you would build duchess for arena swift parry is probably going to be the most common way to gear duchess you can go the resistance route i really wouldn't recommend it because you would need a ton and i mean a ton of resistance now that we have so many increased accuracy champions so it's going to be a huge struggle for most players to do so if you want to build this champion for arena i would just say either as fast as you possibly can make her or put her in swift parry and try to make her rather tanky in swift parry if you can so now that we've done that let's go ahead and equip this gear here moving on to the mastery so we know we have a tanky champion here so what do we want to do we want to get additional damage from this champion and go the war master route like i explained earlier or do i want to capitalize on the amount of damage that she can in fact mitigate here go for something like bulwark this is a possibility or once again, I can take timely intervention where if an ally does in fact die, even though she is decently fast at around 230, I'm going to get a massive turn meter increase when my champions drop to low health, putting her in a much better position to actually revive the rest of my team or that specific champion, and I can keep progressing whatever dungeons. So for this specific build, I think I'm going to elect to go with timely intervention here because it's the most common Duchess build that is out there at the moment. So with that being said, the first thing I'm going to take is Steadfast here because we don't need accuracy on the Duchess. I personally like Exalt and Death. It's a very strong healing bonus. Or you can use Shield Bear. It does buff her A1 shield. And since we do have two options and I do kind of know ahead of where I want to use 
other masteries here, I'm actually going to take Exalt and Death as well. Now after this, I'm going to take Rapid Response here. So she is gaining turn meter after she applies that perfect Veil buff on the entire team, which is going to be her first skill. So I'm making the most out of that. Since we do have all matching set bonuses, I am going to use Floor of Steel here. And you can take Cycle of Magic. It's such a low chance, 5%. It's not really going to make or break your run, so I would much rather prefer something like Merciful Aid here. This is going to come in handy with her A1 here when she is applying the shield to a low health target. Finally, we have the next choices here, which is going to be Last and Gift. That's kind of a given there. You can also go with Spirit Haste. We do have her a bit fast, so if you wanted to skip Spirit Haste based on the speed we have, this is one prime example of why I always do Masteries kind of last instead of first. If I ended up falling short on the speed I did want, if I ended up at 180 speed, 190 speed, I would say, okay, I definitely want to consider Spirit Haste here, making sure she gets enough turns to actually revive a champion. But since we do have a comfortable amount of speed, I'm just simply going to take Timely Intervention here and call it a day. Next, I can either go for Offense Tree or Defense. Offense isn't going to make sense at the moment because we're not taking War Master and there's nothing there that I can really get benefit from. So I'm going to go ahead and take Tough Skin on the defense tree first here. And then these talents are kind of straightforward as far as what's the best here. I would never plan on getting CC'd. I think that's a rather strange way to look at masteries. If you're going to use a team to counter CC waves, this would be the smart thing to do. However, I would not use this as a fail safe to something that should already have a very low chance of happening if you do have this team properly geared. So outside of that, the great choice that I would always recommend is in fact Blast Proof. After Blast Proof, I would definitely go Resurgent here so she has a chance to, if she is debuffed with any kind of debuff, she's going to have that chance for moving it, which is good for dungeons like Dragon if she is poisoned. Once the Dragon gets a turn, that debuff can actually be knocked off based on the amount of damage that is in fact done to this champion, which is why I like Resurgent. Shadow Heal is more of an arena thing. You could use it if you're using Duchess and Spider. If you're also using Duchess and Spider, let me know what kind of team you're using because I don't think I've ever heard of that. So I would probably skip Shadow Heal for now. It can definitely be good against certain waves, but I think it's too niche to take on this champion for the type of build we're doing here today. Delay Death is always going to be good. This will stack per round here, so I do like that a lot if you have the same enemy in the waves going forward. Outside of that, I really like Retribution here. And if you want that increase to turn meter on getting hit, you can take Cycle. Like I said, our speed is high enough where I don't think we need Cycle. So if you have a Glass Cannon or if you want to be able to bring a Glass Cannon into this team, wherever you want to use Duchess, you can take Selfless Defender. It is very strong. Well, it does only count for the first hit on a single ally i think 20 percent i mean you can imagine 20 percent of a hit is in fact enough to save someone or you can go the safe way once again i wouldn't recommend taking something like this because you should never go into something saying okay i'm probably going to get stunned slept fear true fear or frozen on one of my allies but if you are in a situation where this is going to be common on the team where you're putting duchess then definitely take the turns however i'm going to elect to use selfless defender and one thing you're going to notice here already is i didn't fill out all of my talents this is where you can go back and really look at everything and say is this going to be worth it for me increasing the healing and value of a shield buff the target has 40 percent hp or less i'll definitely take healing savior and i do believe i misread this before okay so merciful aid when i was reading it before i probably assumed this was healing savior so this is just going to be vice versa of what i actually meant one is going to increase the healing if the champions are debuffed. Once again, you would plan to never have them, but that's a pretty good fail safe to have since it is an extra talent point and there's nothing better that I can think of in that row that would make sense. Yes, you could gain additional resistance per buff, but honestly, resistance is RNG as it is with that 3% chance of debuffs always landing, so I would not recommend Solidarity. Alright, so this is going to finalize my Dungeon Faction War Doom Tower build for a Duchess, showing you once again her final stats here. We have 75,500 HP, which is very high, 4,400 defense, 
it's not crazy high but i think it's in a very healthy spot 235 speed which is very healthy and the other stats like we said before don't matter so with this here today i would use this tactic when building any type of champion kind of break down the list i do plan on doing this again for a damage dealing champion just to give you kind of a up close and personal and one-on-one -on -one view of how i would gear a damage champion i have a really fun champion in mind so definitely stay tuned for that video i think it's going to be a lot of fun if you have any other champions you would like me to go through this whole process with i'm mostly looking for the type of champion not really a specific champion i don't really want to see murder how would i build a brachis murder how would i build a madam saris if you want to give me a role i think that would better suit the community as far as how to build someone this is a reviver a support reviver on top of that so you can actually apply this to any type of reviver or support you can think of as far as how i just showed you this duchess build so something along those lines if you want to see a cc champion if you want to see a defense down if you want to see a wave clearing champion so let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next and i will definitely get to it after my next damage dealing champion kind of showcase on how to build properly all right guys as always thanks a ton for watching this video if you enjoyed this content don't forget to like comment subscribe and i will see you all in my next upload